Hey, all my movie maniacs out there, it is I, Mark the Movie Man, and yes, today we've got another independent film for you called Wisconsin Project X. Now, now, uh, th before you get started, you know how I love my state of Wisconsin. Well, this doesn't take place in Wisconsin. No, this takes place in Wisconsinville, Montana. Yes, where there's been a government experiment going on creating mutant people. Well, these mutant people escape and they wreak havoc on the small town of Wisconsinville. And it's up to a band of misfits folks to help uh, save the town from these mutants. Uh, <laughs> This is a comedy horror film, okay, and that surprised me for one that they were taking the comedy horror angle, but it, it, it worked. It works for the subject as well as uh, the production that they had here. Now, it's written and directed by uh, Christian Ackerman, who also started in along with Danielle Ackerman. Uh, and uh, it's an independent film, so you're going to get that. And they do very well along with the rest of the actors that you have in this film. Uh, you know, it's, it, it's one of their first films, so it is a bit rough. But what they do have in here, the material and the jokes that they have... I really enjoyed. I thought it was a creative way that they have for dispatching the mutants. Uh, what they came up with definitely put a smile on my face. So there was some creative thought in there as well. Uh, you know, the actors and actresses that they have in here do very well. Uh, this, for most of them, this is their uh, first film, or they haven't been in too many films. So you got to give them a little leeway there. But uh, with the script that they have, uh, they are entertaining characters. Now. One of the only things that kind of took me away from the film, I will say, is the overall style that they shot the film in, the uh, the movie in. They kind of gave it this, tried to give it this old school uh, film look to it with the scratches and the line and the things seeming just a little bit overexposed. And that took me away from the film. I think I would have enjoyed the story more had they just gone a direct, regular movie route look to it rather than trying to give it that really old school feel uh, to it uh, because it was a bit distracting in parts with that effect that they put on there. So, uh, you know, I could have done it without that and the whole film is done in that style. Uh, but I was able to look past that and focus on the script and the directing, which are well done done. Another thing though that got me with uh, this film was uh, just the uh, audio on it in parts as well. It was really tough to uh, hear some of the dialogue on it uh, and, and you know the mi it might be the mix from the DVD I, I couldn't quite tell you but just in parts it was a bit hard and tough to understand what the dialogue was that was going on. Again it's a micro budget film so you're going to have uh, some things that are going to end up not being the best because uh, they got to work within their budget. And work within their budget they do. You can tell they put a lot of great uh, looks to the makeup effects. The makeup effects in this film are fantastic. Uh, you, you know, the, the monster mutant effects that they put on these guys really looks good on uh, the movie. So I really enjoyed that. They felt authentic. They didn't feel like just oatmeal pasted to someone's face. They took some time and definitely put some effort into the overall look of the mutants and it definitely comes across on screen. There is gore in here as well for you gore whores out there as you can imagine when you're dealing with mutants who are attacking a city so or a town I should say. So there are a lot of positives to uh, Wisconsin Project X if you can get past the style that they shot the overall film in. Uh, I think again if they had put it in a regular look rather than going for the old school look to it, I would have enjoyed it more. But once you look past that and you see the other elements, you'll find some entertaining elements in here and especially the effects and the makeup which really stand out in this movie. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket sound.